Hi everyone. Well, I am really glad that I'm going to have the opportunity to teach you slash your child, depending on who's watching this. I'm really gl have, glad that I have the opportunity to teach you uh, in the Nolan English Grade 11 Dual Credit Program for Composition. Uh, first, a little bit about myself. For those who don't know me, my name is John McNichol. I was originally born in Canada, Toronto specifically, in 1970. Yes, you can do the math. I turned 50 this summer. I am married with seven children. Uh, two of them are on their own. Five of them still live with us. I have a BA in English Literature slash Theology, double major, and I graduated with that from Franciscan University of Steubenville in Ohio back in 1992. My teaching career began full-time back in 1993, and I've been teaching uh, full-time ever since. I got a master's degree in education back at Portland State University in 1995, and I obtained a, my second master's degree in English literature from Xavier University in Cincinnati back in 2008. Although I was born in Canada, I took my American citizenship in 2011, and I've been a proud American ever since. I am currently licensed to teach grades 5 through 12 language arts in the states of Oregon and Washington, in the Diocese of Dallas and Fort Worth. And I'm also a published author. I do a little bit of writing on the side myself. Well, the ultimate goal of this course, 1301 and second semester 1302, is to improve your writing and your critical thinking skills to the level of a first year college student. My ultimate goal is for you to see this class as a chance to not only express yourself, but to do so effectively in whatever direction of life you choose. You'll receive feedback on your papers from your peers and myself, completing multiple drafts of each essay paper. All steps of each paper will be categorized uh, and chronologically and submitted in a portfolio at the end of each section of the course. We're also gonna complete the literature component consistent with the diocesan requirements for grade 11 level work. To that end, in addition to doing composition work, we're going to be studying a series of texts that normally you'd be studying at the grade 11 level. These include Beowulf, Canterbury Tales, Macbeth, possibly Jane Eyre, The Dream of the Rood, and a number of other pieces that we'll be supplementing those with as well. Okay? My ultimate goal in doing so, I want you to learn not only the truths and universal themes found in classical literature, but how those truths are effectively stated. Our goal is to learn exactly what makes these classics. Why are we still reading Canterbury Tales 800 years after its author is dead? What makes something a classic versus simply popular? And uh, I hope we're gonna have a great time doing it. Well, thank you so much once again. If you have any further questions for me, uh, please contact me at the school via email, jmcnichol at nchstx.org. And uh, we will be using the textbooks listed, okay, the Norton Field Guide to Writing and Literature, Craft, and Voice for first semester, okay? We'll be using the Field Guide to Writing first quarter and Literature, Craft, and Voice in the second quarter, if there's any concerns or questions about that. And other books will be used in the third and fourth quarter afterwards. All right, looking forward to hearing from you, looking forward to working with you. God bless you, and let's move forward. Take care. Hi everyone. Well, I am really glad that I'm going to have the opportunity to teach